Well, hello and welcome to week five of Wednesdays in the Word. Uh, each week we've been looking through the book of Galatians, and this week we are coming up to Galatians chapter 4, verses 8 to 20. And as I was looking at the text and getting ready for week five, I was actually reminded of my favorite TV show of all time, and that's the TV show called Arrow. And if you've never gotten to see the show called Arrow, uh, it tells the story of this uh, DC Comics superhero called Green Arrow, and he goes through these crazy events where he ends up becoming this uh, superhero that fights crime. Uh, but one of the ways in which he became that hero was he was stuck on this island called Leon Yu for five years. Uh, he was there and he went through these traumatizing experiences and it truly crushed him for the rest of his life. And there was this one profound scene later on in the, the show where he'd been off the island for several months and you know he's fighting crime and he seems to be back to himself. But then he just says this one thing to his, his friend and he says, I don't want to be on an island anymore. And I just remember when I heard that line, I was just so moved by that because physically he had come off the island months ago, but mentally he still felt like he was on that island. All those traumatizing experiences, they just left this weight. And so even though he had moved on and, and had gone on with his life uh, after the island, mentally he still kept going back to that island. He still felt like he was back there. He kept going back to where he once was. Have you ever felt that in your spiritual life? where you look back and you see that you've moved on from your former self, you've moved on from all those things, yet sometimes you feel like you're back where you once were. Well, let's see what the Apostle Paul has to say to us about that in the book of Galatians. Galatians 4 verses 9 to 11. But now that you have come to know God, or rather to be known by God, how can you turn back against the weak and worthless elementary principles of the world, whose slaves you want to be once more. You observe days and months and seasons and years. I am afraid I may have labored over you in vain." You see, the people in the church of Galatia, they were saved, but then eventually somewhere along the line, they turned back. They turned back to those former things. They kept turning back to the Old Testament law. I think a lot of us have something similar happen in our lives, where we were saved by Jesus Christ, yet somewhere around the line we turn back to those former things. We turn back and we feel like we're back on that island that we once were on. But the truth is Christ died to save us from our past. He died to save us from the law. As the book of Galatians says, For freedom Christ has set us free. Stand firm therefore and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. Did you know that? Jesus Christ wants you to be free. He doesn't want you to go back to that island. He knew that you once lived on that island in your life, and he doesn't want you to go anywhere near there ever again. He wants you to be free. For freedom Christ has set us free. Stand firm therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. Do not submit to a yoke of slavery. Hear from the Apostle Paul that Jesus wants you to have freedom in your life. But why is this such a big deal? Why is the Apostle Paul making such a big deal of this legalism that seems to be creeping into the church of Galatia? Well, do we remember what we learned about a few weeks ago in Galatians chapter 2? This is what the Apostle Paul says. Galatians 2.21, I do not nullify the grace of God, for if righteousness were through the law, then Christ died for no purpose. You see, Christ died for a purpose, and that was to save us so that we would have to do nothing to save ourselves. And every time that we turn back, every time that we turn to any kind of a law to justify ourselves, we are essentially saying that Christ died for no purpose. That yes, what he did was, was good, but we need to add to it through our obedience to the law. But what the Apostle Paul is saying here is that Jesus Christ died. He paid the price in full. and We don't need to add to that. There is no slavery that we need to yield to because Jesus Christ died so that we would be free, that we could live in full freedom and know with confidence that we are saved through his death on the cross. Because God has something beautiful in mind through this salvation and through this freedom. And this is what he says to us through the book of Galatians. Galatians 5, 13 to 14. For you were called to freedom, brothers. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. For the whole law is fulfilled in one word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Do you see what God has for us? He has freedom for us. And it's in that freedom that he wants us to live, to love others, to serve others 
for freedom he has set us free and it's with that freedom that he wants us to love and serve others. But the truth is there's only one way that we can do this. It's not through our own striving, it's not through our own obedience to the law, but it's through this gospel, the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so church, let's turn to that gospel alone because there is no other gospel that is going to give us freedom. There is no other gospel that is going to empower us to love others. There is one gospel and it's through Jesus Christ. So let's hold fast to that. Let's live in that freedom and not turn back and let's live to love and serve others. Thank you for tuning in to this week of Wednesdays in the Word, and we look forward to seeing you next week.